Are Paradox Pokemon ruining VGC? This is a question I get asked a lot lately. Many new players are concerned that allowing Paradox Pokemon into Series 2 will make many of the Pokemon they enjoyed using in Series 1 unviable or even make the format stale by creating a centralizing overpowered team. But this hasn't been the case. Over the course of multiple 200 plus person tournaments, we haven't seen the Paradox Pokemon make nearly as big of an impact as people anticipated. As a matter of fact, the most recent Series 2 tournament was won by a team with only one Paradox Pokemon. Ally won the Nino Poke Bros friendly fight number 63, with a team consisting of Grimmsnarl, Arcanine, Iron Hands, Gastrodon, Sylveon, and Corviknight. There's no doubt that Paradox Pokemon have above average power, but looking at tournament results shows that most top teams only have one or two Paradox Pokemon maximum, and team variety is better than ever with stuff like Sandy Shocks, Ferrigraph, and Sableye all making top cut. But let me know what you think about Paradox Pokemon in the comment section down below, and leave a like, subscribe, and tell me what you want to hear about next.